Hello everyone, welcome to Makeup Monday. Today is the last Monday in April. I can't believe it's already the third of the year through. Four months gone already. How did that happen? But today we are going to do an empties video because it is the last Monday of the month. And so I'm going to show you the products that I've used up this month. And I keep them in a trash bag because that's convenient for later. So the first one right on top went through another clear scalp and hair therapy shampoo. The 24-7 Total Care. This has been a loyal favorite of mine since 2013. I've used a couple other um, shampoo and conditioner products in between, but most of the time I use that. This is a big loofah. As you can see, it's time for it to go. I've used it for a little longer than you're supposed to, but I really love this one because it was exfoliating, and so no matter what I used, I felt like I was getting exfoliation. I didn't need an additional product. Nitrile gloves. I go through a lot of um, gloves like this, and I was actually, th these are convenient for me to keep in my bag when they're in this style, but I do use them quite a bit. Mostly because we were having potty problems at my job, and so I used gloves. <laughs> and no, we don't have gloves at my work for those kind of things. I used up uh, my Fish Borage and Flax Oil. This is the one that I use. I usually get a double pack, and I have another one that I have used. But I typically get the double pack of this rather than just fish oil and it makes my joints feel really, really nice. And it really helps keep me internally lubricated. Um, I work out a lot and so my joints and my body hurt and that really helps keep everything feeling nice and keeps the pressure off of them. Um, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff. Okay. This is a little thing of Liquid Diamonds Magic from Victor and Rolf. I love Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I really like Bon Bon. But this little diamond one, not going to be getting a bigger size of that. Just not suitable for my taste. It's a little too airy for me. This is the Crest 3D White Toothpaste. Again, I've been a pretty loyal user of it. I, I alternate between that one and the Crest. I mean the Crest, the Colgate Optic White. I have this L'Oreal Paris Blonde Supreme Excellence Cream. I use that um, for my wig, my blonde wig to when I colored it to help bring out the color in it a little more. This is the Tokyo Cool Deep Conditioner. And this is from Sweet Escape by Hask. I got this at Walmart. It's just a single use satchel and it smells like cherry blossom season. And it's a deep conditioner that says neon lights, city style, and silky hair. There are different ones in them. There's one for Ibiza and there's one for New York. They're very nice. And one pack gets through all of this hair. I have a lot of it. It's pretty thick. And it's, of course, very, very long. I don't wear extensions, by the way. My hair is just this long by nature. And by me only getting it trimmed. <laughs> but yes, I really like this conditioner. I wish I could get it in, in a big tub or something. But in the meantime, I do like that as a deep conditioning treatment. Then I have the L'Oreal Rosy Tone Moisturizer. I did a whole video on this of my review of it. Not going to be a repurchase for me. Um, it wasn't terrible. Uh, like I said, just not in the re realm of repurchase for me. And then I have about a thousand face masks because as you know, I go through a lot of face masks. I'll go through the ones that I have reviews up of first. Oh. Speaking of that hair conditioner, I thought this was a face mask. This is another, the like I said, this is the Ibiza one. And I really like this. It smells like endless summer. If you ever had, they don't have any more, but it was the coconut almond body wash. It was like a shave cream too. If you ever had that, that's what this smells like. Or maybe a little bit of um, 
buffy it has a little hint of buffy to it but it does have that summer smell and it says beach days electric nights and hydrated hair very very nice product again I did a St. Ives Soothing Oatmeal Face Mask Review. This one wasn't very impressive to me. Um, it's a 10 minute mask. It's supposed to be for soft, supple skin. And it just wasn't giving me, my skin didn't feel, it felt soft immediately after, but I didn't get any kind of a hydration. I didn't sense a plumpingness. There was no kind of tingle and my skin didn't feel any differently from anything else so this won't be a repurchase for me it was fine it just wasn't a love now a love and, and a repurchase i've been looking for because it decided to disappear the saint i was revitalizing sheet mask with acacia berry blueberry and chia seed this instantly hydrates for vibrant healthy looking skin this had instantaneous results again it's a 10 minute sheet mask and it did give me instantaneous results there'll be a, re a review of this coming up soon where i'll go into more depth about that and my last um i believe that the last makeup monday i did before this was the cosmic holographic peel off mask this is from freeman beauty or freeman feeling beautiful they have a lot of face masks i've reviewed a lot of their masks and i typically really love them there are three of these and it, it just didn't it didn't wow me this will not be a repurchase for me it was kind of gimmicky again you can check out i will link below and you can see the full review of that i also went through the freeman feeling polishing charcoal and black black sugar scrub this can be used as a face wash or as a as a mask i like to use this i've discovered i like to use this as a prep step so I like to wash my face, then use this as a nice exfoliating piece and then put another face mask on because having the top layer really polished off really helps the other um, serums or clay bits, whatever I'm using, really set in super nicely. There is a little bit of a warming sensation with this, but I personally like that and find it to be very soothing on my skin and it helps open up my pores for the next product I'm going to put on after it. And then there is the animal, this is a little penguin mask and this was in the purifying sheet mask. It didn't do too much in purifying. I've reviewed these animals masks before. I believe I had the tiger one before. They look like the little animal. They're cute. They're gimmicky. They're something fun to do with little kids or maybe with some girlfriends or boyfriends, whatever your calling is. This is the Argon Mud Mask in Deep Cleaning. This is from, oh, I forget what it is. Maskology, maybe? or seventh heaven that's what it is seventh heaven and it's it was nice it was 10 15 minutes um i don't think that it did anything any worse or better than any other purifying clay mask but i'm not opposed to getting it again just not direly going after it the day the sephora daily Bru brush cleanser speaking is a skill i have this is a spray there was a spray bottle attached to it but i threw it away out without keeping it and this was nice as an in-between makeup cleaner if I really wanted to get foundation or something out of my sponges and my face brushes this did a really nice job of that um I'm willing to repurchase it I'm not desperate to I'm a really in the median person when it comes to a lot of products then I have this mini of the Marcella Micellar wa Cleansing Water from Garnier. I have this in full size. I have another mini. I love having a mini one with me because of the convenience factor, being able to throw it in my bag and do quick touch-ups. I talked about this more in depth in my uh, top five to the rescue products. So I will link that below as well. I used this Crest Scope Outlast. I kept it in my bag. I'm gonna repurchase it. I like having miniatures in my purse to carry with me. And then 
Second to last is my e.l.f. brow pencil. Absolutely going to repurchase this. I am not a person who spends a lot of time on my brows. I really just kind of need a quick brush through with them. I don't sit there and put gels. I don't need any pomades or waxes or anything. I really just want to fill in at least the beginning part of my brows where it's a little uneven and have a few missing hairs. And this does that job for me at an inexpensive price. And I am in the color natural, neutral brown. Sorry, not natural brown, neutral brown. Definitely a repurchase. And then the actual last product I have to share with you all is this face mask, which I'm using tonight. It's still in the pack. There is going to be a review of this. I don't think it's going to be the next Makeup Monday. The next Makeup Monday is actually going to be this eye tutorial. But this is going to be the following Makeup Monday after that. But I do plan on using this tonight. And there is still a couple, even though this is the last Monday in April, there are still a couple days left of April. So I feel like I can still include this even though I'm not using it. Even though it's not already been used because it's a one-time thing and I'm going to use it in the next day or the coming day. I threw it in there. But this is the Jeju Volcanic ash facial mask i don't have anything else i can tell you about it other than it, this is the packaging <laughs> that's all i got for you and so i hope you enjoyed the empties video share your empties with me as there are an empty that you repeatedly have every month i typically have either a shampoo or a conditioner of this and several face masks in my empties so tell me what what you regularly go through in the comments below and then uh, you can click the subscribe button. I don't normally tout that because I think that's an obvious thing that we all know by now. And I will see you for FCA Friday and the next Makeup Monday.